If you're not a designer and you want to make your own single or album artwork, it can go one of two ways. It can look really, really over complicated and terrible, or it can be really simple and clean. Now, which one would you rather? The second one, I'm assuming. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Now, the first thing you need to do is, yo, Wagwan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own single artwork or album artwork so that you can create designs and release your music online and release it in Spotify and all the digital platforms and stuff like that. So this is going to be very, very straightforward. This is the exact same process that I use for myself. And this is something that you can use even if you're not a designer and still come up with great simple clean designs for your artwork that make your releases look professional and don't take you a bunch of time okay now my question of the day is what software do you use to design your graphics let me know in the comment section down below for this i'm going to be using photoshop and we're going to be going through that basically now if you just want to use the template that i use to create all my artwork because you just you, you can't be bothered to learn you'd rather just get the template and have things easy for you then go to jcarterray.com forward slash single template and you can download that photoshop template there now i'm going to show you how to do this step by step from the beginning till the end okay so pay attention okay <laughs> first of all we need to create a project 3000 by 3000 pixels okay now this is the standard size for album artwork if you're going to upload it to a digital distrib distributor and you want that to be then sent to spotify and all the other platforms okay so i'm gonna name this single test okay so let's just create this and as you can see it looks pretty much exactly like my actual single artwork over here so this is what we're going to be creating something very very simple as you can see the title of the singles right here it says produced written and engineered by the and then whoever it's been done by down here okay very very simple artwork i don't have any parental advisory or any, all, any of that on there because it's just not necessary okay it's just straight up shows you this is what this song is and this is who made it and that's the only two elements that you really really need in your artwork so let's get to it okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to create a background now we can simply unlock this layer or create a layer from background i just right click and i'll create a layer from background so we'll call this layer zero and it just basically unlocked, <laughs> unlocked that layer i guess then if we right click and go to blending options now we can pick an actual color to have for our background now this is up to you i personally for last year i went with reds for this year i'm going with blues I like to pick one color and then just ever so slightly change it for the different um, the different singles that I'm putting out that year. That's that's what I'm doing these days. So let's go with red, and we've got the color red. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is we want a rectangle shape. Okay. The reason why we want this is because we want to make a rectangle for our logo. So like this, I'm going to show you how to make our logo for your artist name so we use the rectangle tool over here on the left hand side and we will just create a rectangle like so depending on your artist name you might want to create a bigger or smaller rectangle but it doesn't matter because you can change the rectangle using the transformation tools okay so the first thing we want to do with this rectangle is we want to get rid of the fill. We don't need it to be filled at all. And then we want to add a stroke. We want to change the color of this stroke and we want to make it white. Then we want to change the size of the stroke and we want to bring it to, yeah, 16 looks okay. But let's go to 20 and see what that looks like. 20 looks pretty good. You can pretty much do what you want with this. It really doesn't matter that much. I will add a drop shadow to it. So it just adds a little bit more, like it just pops off the background a little bit more. Okay. Now what we'll do is actually, did we go with black? No, we went with white. 
We could make this a little thinner to be fair, but we're gonna do 20 for now. Now we'll go to the text tool. We'll click inside this rectangle and we will create text of our artist name. So let's just go J Carter Ray. And this is incredibly small, like ridiculously so. So there we go. And the text that I generally use, the text font that I generally use is Bebas. That's what I use for all my branding. So you can use a different thing, but that's what we're using here. And as you can see, my logo basically done. Okay, that's my logo. Now we got a logo again. Next thing we want to do is we want to create a rectangle for the title. So we're just using the same tool. We're creating a rectangle for the title now. And we're going to go to blending options. So let's right click, go to blending options. We're going to get rid of the opacity of the fill. So there's nothing inside it. We're going to go to stroke and we're going to add another stroke like this. And we could do it at 20 again, but let's go to 15 instead. Make it a little bit smaller, okay? And let's actually go back in there because I don't think I added the drop shadow. Then we add a drop shadow. Happy days. Now, we can do the exact same thing for this. So we'll get some text and we could write out out here, which may give us a better result because when you type inside the rectangle, the software tries to format it so that it fits inside there and sometimes it makes it like super small like you saw before so we're going to call this single test and we're going to go like that so that the two lines are on top of each other we're going to then give this a little bit more space between those horizontal or vertical lines then we're going to actually bring this in the rectangle and make this larger give us some more space between these lines there we go, that, that seems about large enough. And we can bring this up here, bring this up here. And there we go, Bob's your uncle, yeah? But this doesn't look very exciting, does it? No, 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 of course not. So let's actually show transform control so we can move this box and make it a little smaller there we go and we can add some more text so that it says produce engineered and mixed by if you're doing everything yourself then it makes sense to have a little bit of line like this so people know that you did everything yourself because people are impressed by shit like that <laughs> like even if you're like oh it's just 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 me i just did this like people are impressed when you do everything yourself because people don't know that or produce written and engineered by my bad uh produce written and engineered like people won't know this stuff unless you tell them like it's good marketing because most people don't do everything themselves like so it, it kind of points that out so i also kind of want this or all of this to be a little bit up there and we'll bring this background right back there and let's lock that i don't want that to be moving around now the big important things you need to do now is to just make it look a little bit more interesting, right? Like this looks very, very, it looks too clean so that it's not interesting. So in order to fix this, we want to add some grunge layers. Now, in order to do this, you just wanna to go to Google, type in grunge. Type in grunge texture, whatever, grunge texture. And you'll see some grungy layers like this. And you can grab one of these. Let's grab this mixed grunge picture. Let's save this. If you want to be as safe as possible, then go to a place where you can get copyright free grunge images like Pixabay and that sort of stuff. Going through Google, you might be getting stuff that you're supposed to pay for. But if it's just free on it, generally you can just use it and you don't have to worry about it. But that's besides the point. That's to do with you and your lawyers, yeah. Let's just drag this in to Photoshop and we're gonna put it on top of everything, okay? The grunge has arrived. So now what we wanna do is we wanna scale this up like ridiculously and see if it's still, the resolution isn't too bad. And once we scale this up, we've got much more space to work with, 
much more aspects like of the grunge that we can just move around for each single. So this can be one single and then we move it over here, that's another single. And that way your grunge is changing throughout your different singles, uh, throughout your different artwork. And it's a really, really easy way to do it. So in order to actually now have this on the rest of our stuff, we want to, first of all, it should be on top of everything. We want to go to the opacity and just turn it down. We want to turn it down to like 20%. Okay, so now already, yeah, this looks way better. Now this does look kind of weird because this doesn't look like it's in the middle. So let's actually deal with that. I think I've got extra space here. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's right. So let's lock that grand shot, it doesn't move anymore. And then we'll move this in the middle and then we'll make that a little bit smaller. There we go. Let's actually make it a little bit bigger. Bring it down. And there we go. We've got some artwork. Now the single test doesn't seem <laughs> very interested. <laughs> and we could always add some some drop shadow to all the text. Generally, I think I do add drop shadow to every single text that I have. It just makes it pop a little bit more. It makes all the text look a little bit more interesting. Yes, 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 yes. This is the finishing touches. Drop shadow, drop shadow everywhere. And here we are. Now it looks like a legit single cover. Now we can save this and upload this with our single and keep it moving okay so that is how you create a cover for your single or artwork for your single or album very very simply using you know just a few layers just some grunge some rectangles some text very very simple and it's going to communicate the fact that this is a cover this is what the single's called this is who it's by and that's all you really need to communicate in your cover it's super, super cheap because you don't need to hire any designers and it doesn't look like you're the worst designer in the world because you didn't go overboard and try to do too much, okay? So this is how it's done. Hope this helped you out. If you do want to grab my template that does it all for you and has all the assets that I use personally for my own single and album artwork and you can just basically, you know, change the words and you'll be up and running in seconds that link is down below go to jcarterray.com forward slash single template to grab that photoshop template now if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please let me know in the comment section down below and in the next video you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing i'll see you there peace out